How valuable can some foreign coins be? In this video, we will talk about a rare Canadian coin that could buy you a house right after this. YouTubers, this is J and B, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or just maybe find that one valuable coin that could change your life. In this video, we will talk about a super rare Canadian coin, a coin that is considered the greatest and most storied rarity in all of Canadian numismatics. It is the George V specimen pattern dollar coin from 1911 that you see in the picture, courtesy of Heritage Auctions. This specimen is one of only two examples to have been struck in silver. While the other coin is permanently housed in the National Currency Collection in Ottawa, alongside a single striking in lead. If the 1921 half dollar is considered the king of Canadian coins, then it follows that the 1911 dollar reigns as the emperor of Canadian numismatics. And now we're going to share with you the story of this coin featured by Heritage Auctions at the time of the auction. Quote, the story begins with the Canadian Currency Act of 1910 which authorized the striking of a Canadian silver dollar in 0.925 silver with a weight of 360 grains. To facilitate the minting process, a coinage press was obtained from England to specifically strike dollar-sized coins, and the Royal Mint in London prepared dies in order to strike two specimens in silver and one in lead as proposed patterns for future design. Additionally, cases for the specimen sets of the first Canadian coinage of George V were produced with a position specifically designated for the dollar coin. Despite all this, and for reasons unknown, the Canadian government authorities decided against issuing a business strike silver dollar at that time. This 1911 silver dollar is considered a pattern since it was a proposed coin with no business strikes ever having been produced. In fact, the two known pattern dollars, as well as the lead striking, were struck in London before the dies were even sent to Canada. Major Sheldon S. Carroll, the chief curator of the National Collection at the Bank of Canada, stated that when consideration was being given to issuing a dollar coin in 1911, dies were prepared in London and trial strikes were made. Mint records do not tell us how many such strikes were produced, but until November 19, 1977, the only two known trial strikes were in silver. The lead striking was discovered shortly thereafter on November 20th, 1977. It was sent to the Department of Finance in Ottawa for examination, and it remained there in a brown paper parcel in the East Block of the Parliament buildings for more than 65 years. No examples of the 1911 dollar were known until 1960 when the noted London coin dealer BACB obtained this coin from, quote, an undisclosed source. But word quickly spread that the coin had been purchased from the family of Sir William Gray Ellison McCartney, who was the mint master at the time the coins were struck. CB later discovered the second silver example at the Royal Mint Museum in London which is the coin on permanent loan to the National Currency Collection in Ottawa. 
How interesting is this story that sounds so much like so many stories from the U.S. Mint also, right? Also, this is another example of a super rare coin that someone noticed almost 50 years after it was struck. So like we always say, check your coins. If something wasn't discovered or noticed for decades, it doesn't mean that it's not there. This coin received a grade SP64 by PCGS and was sold at Heritage Auctions for $552,000. Over half a million dollars for a foreign dollar coin. Like we said at the beginning of this video, this coin could buy you a nice house and possibly a car too. It definitely would change your life. So check your change, and in this example, no one really knows how many dollar coins were struck in silver. But we're not referring just to this coin, but all coins in general. If you see something odd, or an older coin, put it aside, and do your homework later. Don't take no as the first answer. And we have a question for you. What was your biggest rarest or most valuable find ever? Please let us know in the comments section below. We read all of your comments. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Also, please remember to hit the little bell and set it so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video or do a live stream. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.